of uh, media there, and um, you know the militia is keeping them off the church property, which is I'm very grateful for. Right. Um, it's a very beautiful, very beautiful service. Uh, really emotional. You know, I never met never met him, but still, you know, you, you, it, was, it was emotional. And uh, I was amazed that the casket was open. Really, um, they did a great job reconstructing. They did a great job reconstructing the top. And um, as far as I can tell, it's it, it really is. You know, I, I, you know, I can't say for fact it's him or not, but you know, I, you can tell that it's, you know, there's a person in there. And of course, all the family's all there. And it, in the beginning, it was just the family, and but you know, I, I would have to say it's real. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't think the family would let any shit fly. If you know what I'm saying. Right. Well, they were crying. Yeah, that's weren't, what's up. weren't weren't they crying and stuff? Oh. Oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a very, I mean, like, I wouldn't dare pull my cell phone out to take a photograph anywhere. I mean, it was a very beautiful, um, traditional LDS, um, uh, tr- you know, Lavoy Finnegan's um, a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And, I know. Yeah. And, uh, um, yeah, so it was a very traditional, beautiful service. I'll probably go. I'm going to try to go back. To, I, I I left for a minute just to kind of because I was there at ten and the funeral doesn't start until two thirty, and I'll see if I can try to go back. But you know, it, it, it's very emotional and he's there's a ton of support. When I first got there, I was like, oh my gosh, there's nobody here, but they're they're filing in. Did did they shoot him in the back of the head or the front of the head? Do you know? Um. I'm, I'm not, I, I think they. I don't know, Dad. What do you think? Do you think they shot him in the back of the head or the front of the head? They reconstructed his forehead, right? Uh, they shot him in the front of the head. But, uh, uh, yeah, I can't answer that question. I'm sorry. I mean, the whole top of the head is reconstructed, like a like a wax museum bit. Yeah. But the but the bottom part is is real. Right. It's a real person there. So, yeah. So I mean, I didn't I didn't I I didn't study that. I should I. You know, like I said, it's pretty emotional in there. Right. Right. And there was a lot of people there. I mean, not a ton, but I mean, you, you just needed to keep moving on. Right. So, can you still hear me? Okay, hey, good. I can still hear you. Yeah. So, uh, good. But, yeah. but you, you, I mean, dude, there's no way that that you would misconstrue the family. They, they were highly, highly emotional. So. Oh yeah, no, no. I mean, it's it's the real deal. It's the real deal. Yeah, I mean, it's the family received Lavoie's body. Right, right. And I, I thought for a fact it was going to be a closed casket, but it was open. Really? Yep. Well, so that's that's all the data. That's all the data I have for you. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm just, yeah, you know, the reason why I'm asking all these questions, right? Of course, dude. Like I've been following you. I've been following you. At least for a year, yeah. And I got turned on. I, I where, where I where I found out about you is 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 your work on Sandy Hook, yeah. And I thought that was an ex, um, exceptional work. Yeah, thank you. So, yeah, I knew that yep. this. I knew that this wasn't bullcrap, dude. There's so many people that claim this is fake, and I know it's not. Well, I mean, I was wondering because, like, you know, there's that three minute block. I was like, did they escort everybody out, and then they and then they do a stage? But nope. You know, I mean, I don't really, I don't understand how 120 bullets could fly through a vehicle and everybody inside not die. You know, and I, I came down here, number one, I came down here to show my support because, you know, I may not agree with 100% of everything, but he was ambushed and murdered by the FBI and I wanted to be here, you know, to show my support. I'm very grateful that more people are here than just me. Right, right. Um. So, so there is, that's good that there's a lot of people there. I mean, not to tell me where you're from, but where exactly did you travel from to walk, to to see this? I, I came down. I came down from Salt Lake City. From Salt Lake City. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, it's about, My sister. Yeah, I, I, and I can and tell I, you for a fact right now that um, the federal government is freaked out because um, yada yada yada. I know a lot of people that work for the federal government, and they're having meetings this morning. Um, they don't want anybody driving federal vehicles because they're I, they're scared. They're scared about what could possibly happen. You know, even though it's stupid because they're the ones that <laughs> ambushed Lavoy. You know, they 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 should be afraid. You know, I don't think anything should happen, but and I don't think anything will happen. But it's like they're the the federal government is paranoid. 
I mean, the, I know people who work for the Bureau of Reclamation at the federal building in Salt Lake, and you know, emails have been sent out saying, bring in your government vehicles. We don't want anyone driving government vehicles for the next two weeks. And they told specifically all the federal employees not to come anywhere near Kanab. And all the federal buildings are are, are closed here in Kanab, by the way. We're doing it next door. Are, Can you still are, hear me? Yeah, yeah, I still hear you. Are, are you Mormon yourself? Yeah. Um, I, I used to be Mormon. I'm, I'm no longer LDS. I used to be too. I used to, for eight years. Yeah. I, I went through all the endowment, yeah. d- endowment and everything. So I, I know all the whole inner workings yeah. of the temple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I, I'm a return missionary, but, um, yeah. I, I, uh, yeah. I hung that, I hung that hat up. Do you, do you, do you know what really, <laughs> trips me out is that when i hear people talk about mormons right they they seem to think that yeah they go into the church and that they're automatically talking about freemasonry and 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 talking <laughs> and talking about like pinky in the brain stuff taking over the world dude it, it's just a religion yeah. and if any of that stuff goes on that goes on behind closed doors between the hierarchy of the church not right, absolutely correct. It's not for your 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 just your minor congregation people. It, it, no, I, I just it, it trips not. me out how people got this impression that oh they're Mormons so they're connected to the Freemasonry and blah blah dude. Oh yeah, well I saw I saw you know what you were talking about Hubbard and I went to Hubbard and he's like oh I hand you the Mormon I'm like what does that have to do with anything like? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but. So. Uh, so it's it's a huge turnout. There's there's media all over the place trying to uh, catch a, a glimpse here or a picture there, huh? Yeah, there's at least six different. When I when I left the church house, there's at least six different interviews going on, going on, and photographs. Um, did, I mean, photographers, big were, cameras and stuff. Were there people taking pictures of Lavoie in the casket? No, absolutely not. Nope. And it's you, very, very, very respectful inside there. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of tough militia guys in there that wouldn't tolerate any nonsense inside. And there's a lot of tough militia guys outside making sure the media doesn't get anywhere near the property. <laughs> well, I mean, they, they don't put their foot on the property. In fact, this one guy ran up to this guy. He goes, you guys are like a bunch of vultures out here. So militia everywhere, huh? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And they're organized. They've got, you know, they've got militia inside at the doors, just paying attention to who comes in and out. Did you get pictures of all the militia around there? Um, you know, I whipped my phone out for a second. I took a couple pictures. I, I'll have to send to my, I don't have my Twitter set up to receive photographs. And so I've got to, I can get that, I can get that to you later. But I, I didn't, I took two shots and I put my phone away because they started walking you know, I didn't want to get mixed up with the the media. <laughs> right, right. No, no, I understand. And you said you didn't mind if I recorded this. No, you can you can you can record me. That's fine. Okay. Yep. Well, hey, I you know what? I'm glad that you went over there and showed your uh, you know support for the family and all that. That's good stuff. It's good stuff. Um, well, it means a lot to me. You know, I've I've you know, I, like I say, I don't. I'm, I'm not on. Uh, I'm not on board 100 percent with the with with yada yada whatever. But the thing is, is I'm on board with the spirit. You know, and the point is, is <laughs> I think you know what the point is. Is I, we we don't live in a free country. You know, and when I woke up to that, my whole life changed. And you know, I'm just. And the thing is that really bothers me is. Is you, you get you see on the news is there really is no support you know and and when I first got here I was like gosh there's really nobody here and it, it's filing in but there's not enough you know I mean I was really kind of hoping that the whole town of Kanab would be packed full of people paying their respects and it's it's really just kind of a it's not really that big of a funeral I mean I mean yeah it, it's the church is filling up but you know there there's it, there should be more people here I mean. Well, I don't really know what to say other than the fact that yeah, I I I didn't want to be I didn't want to be apathetic and be like you know just be there in spirit. I wanted to come down and be here physically. 
No, no, I understand that. I understand that. No, that that's good. No, I, and the whole thing is, is you know, uh, to to the church members and stuff, they may have told them, you know, we want to kind of keep this, you know, kind of small. You know what I mean? And uh, who knows? Who knows? You got to got to remember. Uh, yeah. Uh, Lavoy Finnicum hasn't been living in Canab for some time, right? He's been living in uh, running his ranch in Arizona. Isn't that right? Right. Right. So, I, well, I, I really don't know. I mean, the thing is, is I think this should be, and everyone that cares about Lavoie Finnegan being murdered, everyone that cares about the FBI ambushing Lavoie, you know, anyone that cares about the future of this country, um, you know, I understand not everyone can make it here, but, you know, that, you know, we all should, you know, now, now this is kind of what I want to, um, in my opinion, you know, we all should have been there for David Koresh. David Koresh should never have been, you know, killed, murdered, and the families, you know, we all should have stood up for him, and we all should be standing up for, uh, you know, that, that's really my point, is we all should, we all, we all need to be, you know, actively engaged in this, in this cause, and, and I, and I look out there, and I talk to people, and and no one even knows what I'm talking about, and that really upsets me. And I don't I don't want to put put a bad mood on this conversation, but uh, I, I don't we're we're not. I, I'm just I'm really I'm really concerned about the future, you know. And I, I don't really know if I really want this to be put on YouTube. I I think we should just keep this a one on one conversation, or you can edit it. I don't want people to judge me for me supporting, you know, David Koresh. You know, I, I really think we should have all been there to protect David Koresh and that was like what 20 years ago I mean well for one thing I'm not going to tell people who you are so they're not going to know who you are <laughs> but oh yeah that's right <laughs> right I'm, I'm not going to mention your name but uh no well I you know, mean what's, the whole, what's, what's that old huh oh I'm sorry please finish no I was going to say uh, uh the whole thing was is it what was wrong with David Koresh? I mean, dude, everybody has a right to uh, uh, to their religious beliefs, and they went in there and and pretty much the FBI created the situation themselves. They're the ones who did it. Yeah, yeah, no, they they murdered men, women, and children. So anyhow, like, I don't. I wish I could quote that old poem. What is it? You know, like they came for the they came yeah, for the so and sos, and no one was yeah, there to yeah. help them. They, yeah, they came for the journalist. You know, but I wasn't and, and, a journalist, right? Right, and and so the thing is, is it's, it we're so we're so far behind the curve, you know. I mean, the war on drugs should have never been put up. I mean, people are now bitching about how we don't have any freedoms. It's like, dude, our freedoms were taken away whenever they put the war on drugs up, you know. Like we all should have been. I wasn't alive then, but we all should have been hand in hand and supported Martin Luther King. We all, you know, all of that should never have happened. And then, you know, with David Koresh, like we all. I mean, not we, but everyone just threw them under the bus when everyone should have grabbed arm to arm and kicked the, you know, kicked those feds out of there. And and now we're now we're in a situation where you know, pretty much the end of the line where they're kicking the ranchers off the federal land so they can sell off the mineral rights. And I I think we're at the end of the line. Yeah. Yeah. That's that. That's how I. That's how I feel. And you know, I've I've. <laughs> You know, I've been SWAT raided. You know, I've I've been ripped out of the car. I, you know, I've, I swear to God, I've had the full American tour. You know, I, I thank God I didn't have to spend as much time in jail as you did. But, you know, this this country is not a free country. I mean, just talking with my dad, he's he's here with me, and it's like, you know, they're all paranoid just with just with driving. You know, and and I, I think everyone feels that way. We shouldn't be in our cars worried about getting pulled over for going two miles over the speed limit. Right. Hey. Uh, because I got a strike right now, I'm only able to, I'm only going to be able to run this for 15 minutes and we're almost hitting that right now. So what I'm going to do is, oh, is sorry, uh, buddy. no, you're all right. I'm going to end this right now and I'm going to post this and let everybody know that there is an open casket. This is what's going on right there. And, and, um, so they can hear it for themselves. All right. Hey, thanks for, thanks for all your work. Hey, dude. no, you're thank you. And keep, probably, keep you're the best, you're the best out there. Hey, thank you.